Grana Weapon Nibong! And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today on my channel, I'm coming back at you with some stuff and some things that I found from the four corners of the Tinterweb. I do this every single Tuesday and Saturday on this channel. So if you like the sound of that, why don't think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe, because it really does help me out. And now the news, don't touch that dial. Kicking off things over in the UK with a post from Kapow Toys who are giving everyone a quick heads up as this week they're going to be getting some restock on some hot and sold out items from the likes of G.I. Joe, Transformers, The Turtles and many more. So keep your eyes peeled there for anything that you've been missing from your collection because they might have it in this week. Exciting times. It's been a few weeks since we spoke about Gizea toys and a couple of weeks ago when I spoke about them they uh, I showed off the kind of CAD drawings for their take on a Donald Duck uh, and now they've done the printed Donald Duck that transforms into a tape. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, I quite like this. Uh, it's a nice little fun thing and they got it next to a Mickey as well. They also showed off their take on Pretender Skull Grin. Uh, really, really really nice looking here um the face obviously is lacking a little bit in detail certainly from the CAD drawing but it's quite a simplistic nice looking pretender here uh yeah why not it's pretty cool pretender's not my favorite thing in transformers but yeah yeah it looks alright do you need an upgrade for your Dinobot or Dinobot? I call him Dinobot, everyone else calls him Dinobot. Uh, the Mechanical Skull Studios have got you covered, so you can get kind of a, a, a an oldie worldy axe type thingy here, and also some filler pieces. Uh, also, he looks like he has a little bit of a gold disc here as well, and you can really see how those filler pieces are making him look a lot better. As always with these things, he's not really for me, but yeah, you know, all in all, not a bad add-on kit here if you really like this figure. Reissues, reissues, reissues are appearing all over the place at the moment and of course Magic Square are getting in on the whole reissue thing at the moment and they are going to be reissuing their take on Optimus Prime. So this is the MSB18, uh, I think it looks quite nice in both modes here but i have quite a lot of legend scale primes already so i don't feel i need this the matrix is very small in this dude's chest uh, but all in all it looks like a nice looking prime not one that i'll add to my collection i only have one uh magic square figure within my collection it's the the rc that's a little bit uh the peach princess peach they also showed off their take on Perceptor, and this does look pretty cool. Cover your receptors, Perceptor, because this dude is looking awesome. Both modes here look absolutely fantastic. Um, I prefer this to quite a lot of the Magic Square stuff, actually, that I've seen. This looks a little bit more detailed. Um, the joints and everything looks like it's highly articulated as well. This is actually one that I'm thinking of picking up uh, because there's no other companies doing legend scale perceptors at the moment and i think this might be the first kind of mainline magic square figure that i pick up so let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments over on Weebo, we've also had some pictures of the fully combined take on the Stunticons now so together the whole collection looks pretty damn nice together and as a group they look awesome as well again Motormaster probably be my favorite out of all of them but combined they look good they look really good I'm actually very very tempted to pick this up now I wasn't tempted at first at all but certainly from the combined point of view I think they look great Heading over to Dreamstar Toys and they shared a couple of bits of plastic really on some spools and this is to get us all super excited and super hyped because this means that they've really started to design and get the, the elements together for their take on Superion to start releasing and their take on Superion does look 
incredible very very nice highly detailed very different to anything that we've seen from hasbro looks fantastic the only only thing that i don't like on this figure is the head sculpt for me i wish it still had the kind of more classic superior head sculpt but i know they have to do things a little differently so i'm hoping that we get two heads with this bad boy are you still waiting on your master made take on devastator this is because they are doing another series of it because there's a lot of pre-orders out there i know that haven't been fulfilled yet uh, but they have said that these are going to get fulfilled very 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 soon so if you are waiting good news for you their second take on it is going to be coming through you soon so big fire bird toy have been showing off a few figures uh coming up from them very very soon they're obviously at some kind of toy company and if you don't know uh, who Big Firebird Company are, they are the people who last year released their take on RC, and it's the RC that your friend on Facebook puts in all compromising positions with the big boobers. That RC. So they've done what looks like um, a kind of Beast Wars uh, battle beetle type affair i'm not sure which one this one is like a big stag beetle and also what looks like their take on a tank so maybe their take on a megatron let me know down in the comments if you're uh if you know who this is supposed to be but i think it looks pretty good there's obviously three different versions that you can get the tank looks very futuristic very kind of cybertron-esque tank very very nice as a as an alt mode i do adore it not as enamored with the bot mode certainly from a transformers point of view i think it looks more like uh like a gundam or something i'm not sure i'm not really buying into the alt but the the, the bot mode sorry but the alt mode here is gorgeous smooth looking futuristic tank the dude is very very unique i like the cannon uh, the way that it's thin and almost looks like a railgun type affair there very very nice but like i said the bot mode it just looks like a mecha rather than a transformer to me it definitely looks like it should be in gundam the thing is black gold and red so it's even it reminds me of uh the um black zarak type colors here um let me know your thoughts is this supposed to be megatron am i missing who this is supposed to be i probably am there's probably a few more better educated people who this is supposed to be he has a lot of junk in his trunk as well a lot hangs off the back the cat drawing his did look quite good though uh, and yeah it, i don't know i don't know let me know your thoughts on this dude then moving on to the stag beetle type of thing here and again let me know who you think this is supposed to be so they did their take on rc with the big boobers and now they're doing a stag beetle transformer uh with the uh big boobers as well and that looks like so this is the next figure that your uh friend on facebook will put in all of the compromising positions so in my last video i spoke about the new tfc figure that's going to be coming out that turns into a helicopter i called it an apache i said i know i'm gonna to get told this isn't an apache so thank you to everybody who's reached out to me down in the comments of my last video and told me that this is a chinese military helicopter wz10 whatever it is it looks fantastic here in both modes got some new pictures here so i thought i would share them all really detailed down to the missiles on the side the cannons the front cockpit opens to the side the stand looks actually really really cool as well nice looking articulated fingers and head sculpt i'm super hyped for this this is one of my must haves of 2021 don't have a helicopter that looks like this this looks in Incredible, and it comes with such a nice looking sniper rifle gun thing the ponies are coming back very very shortly and idw shared the kind of stages that they go through to create a cover and i like this goes from the line drawing to the kind of painting and then you add in the other stuff as well really really nice three stages there speaking of idw uh, i finished off my review of the 84 line on this channel on monday 
Uh, people have been reaching out to me saying, hey, this looks cool. Where can I pick it up? My local stockist hasn't got it anymore. Uh, should I get these? What order do I read them in? And basically, the best way to pick these up, I believe now, is that there is a graphic novel that collects all of these together. It looks like this. Uh, I, I discovered this through a conversation I had with Toys R Russ on Instagram. You should definitely check out his channel, Fantastic Channel. But you can pick them all up together. They will cover from zero to four because the one I covered on Monday was a four. And actually, if you go to Forbidden Planet in the UK, this is on sale for £11.03 now for the whole collection together fantastic price fantastic story if you're a fan of the marvel transformers universe then this is definitely something that you should pick up because this fills in gaps and all kinds of stuff so cool freelance graphic <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. Do a lot of the box art for X Transbats, and they just shared this picture on their Facebook. So, this is obviously just a line drawing for their box art for the upcoming um, X Transbots release. I think it's called Lip. I always pronounce that very wrong. You and I know this better as the Quintesson Prosecutor, but it looks absolutely awesome in this picture. I'm super hyped for this figure. It doesn't transform. Uh, hopefully the paint will be better than they did with Dr. Egg, but let's see. Staying with the world of X-Transbots, if you're waiting on Fuzz, it does look like he's now with suppliers. A few suppliers have shared this picture, which obviously Fuzz in the flesh with some picture, with some, uh, sorry, some polythene wrapping on it. So it probably means that they are now in store. So expect him to ship very, very soon if you're waiting on him. KFC have been showing their take on Octane. So this is going to be a re-release of their original version of Octane. Uh, so Octane, uh, when they released it last time, didn't have this metallic look to the paint so in the same way that kfc re-released blaster very recently i also reviewed that on this channel so you can take a look at that here uh this is gonna have metal paint on it basically so it's gonna be a bit of a shiny shiny shinier version he looks highly articulated comes with four different head sculpts on this dude this is one of the better takes i've seen on octane from uh anywhere really the Bot mode looks nice, shiny, big guns, and that big shield on his arm as well looks really, really cool. Looks like he's going to share a head sculpt maybe with Galvatron on this, uh, but he does look very, very cool. The plane mode, very difficult to get uh, all three modes on Octane because they are so different to look very good, but I think they've done a good job here with the plane. It looks simple. It looks nice. It has the windows along the side, highly detailed, very, very nice. And you can also put the shield on the top to give it that look, which I think is the best look that you're going to get. But the truck, the truck is good. Gorgeous. I love this truck mode. I think this is the best truck mode that I've seen in a while. Uh, I, I think that the cab looks incredible. Very, very, very nice. Uh, quite simple uh, the way that it works. You can see how the transformation is going to work here. You can use the shield on the back and it separates into two as well, just like a normal truck. Very, very, very well done. Over on Weibo, we got another look at New Age's Herbie and Vanishing Point, aka Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, loving the box art. Love it. Box art looks very, very cool, very, very classic towards the, the old school 80s Transformers when they came. And you can also see the a couple new pictures of the bot modes and the alt modes. You'll see them here on this channel very, very soon, as mine should be winging its way to me very, very soon. So, Hasbro leaking like a watering can again, and they've managed to leak all of the UPCs for some upcoming figures. Now, some of these are very, very interesting. So, we're going to get a deluxe take on Brawn, Ratchet, Perceptor, and Wheeljack. Uh, Voyager classes, we're looking at a Soundwave, a Junkyard, who's going to be a retool of Retgar. Uh, and then in leader class, we're going to get a Studio Series 86 leader class King Starscream. Absolutely awesome that is pretty damn cool so 
I think this is going to be very, very interesting when all of these come through. Uh, I'm interested in the brawn. I actually really like the way that the brawn looks from the Bumblebee movie. I think it's quite interesting. Ratchet, I'm not asked about, uh, but the Perceptor, as I've already said, I don't really have a Perceptor in my collection, so I'm hyped for that. And Junkyard, yeah, I want, I, I want all of the the Junkions and King Star Scream. Yeah, will it be any different to Earthrise? Probably not. I think it's just going to be a retool of Earthrise. Let me know your thoughts on this and everything else down in the comments. This channel has just gone past the 2.46k mark for subscribers. We are well on our way to being a 2.5k vector. Thank you all so much for your support. You do blow me away every single week by the way that we keep increasing. Uh, and as always, Think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe if you are new around here because your support really does help me out. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys, in a bit. Peace.